Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Harris and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be uh, reacting to Joey Diaz, Sister Hyson, which is actually uh, a part from, uh, it's just the first part of uh, his stand up he did and I com completely missed it and somebody told me the part is called Sister Hyson. So without any delays, let's get to Joey Diaz, Sister Hyson. Here we go. I got a three-year-old, you know, and I look at her, she's beautiful, I look at her and I'm like, you know, when she gets older, I don't think I have the heart to fucking smack her to discipline her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I throw like a sneaker at the cat from time to time and shit like that. <laughs> when I look at my daughter, I don't have the heart. Like, I look at her, like, I, I could probably punish her and send her to a room, but can I fucking hit her? now? Nah. Like, I, I don't think I, I have the balls to do it. But they, also, they always say that if you grew up in a house that you got fucked up at, that you'll probably have a house that you fuck people up at, you know, like if your parents. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I grew up in the 70s. My mom fucked me up, okay? My mom fucked me up. Not like fuck, it was a controlled beating, okay? Let's get this yeah. shit straight. Everybody in this room got a controlled beating at one time. That means you're not gonna fucking die, okay? You're gonna get a couple punches to the head, you'll go down, and in two days you get a doll. No big fucking deal. <laughs> That's a controlled fucking beating, all right? You're not gonna die, you know? And when I was a kid, you know, I, I used to bust my mom's balls and, you know, she's Cuban and you know, a single mom and she would lose her temper from time to time. And, you know, you get like, my mom would hit me with like the straight punch to the head, the, the fucking overhead right. In Spanish, it's called un avion. It means a fucking airplane. <laughs> and then they had, they had like different names from them. Then they have like the fucking, uh, a guy at Asso. That's the bitch slap. You know, that's the Stockton slap, right? And then my mom had the backhand, the tapawoka. That's just to throw you off, to open you. Yeah. It, it opens you up for a sidekick to the body, right? That's what that does. You're like, ah, bam! And also you get kicked and shit. So I took a beat. Listen, my mom threw a beat on me one time on 86th Street. When I was like six, I wouldn't get off a mule in front of eight. There's a bank on 86th and Broadway. And I, there was a mule, some fucking dude with a mule. And you give him like three dollars, and he put a cowboy hat on you and let you get on the fucking mule with a vest and shit. And I wouldn't get off the mule. My mother beat the fuck out of me with the purse. That was a good one, like a, a live purse. <laughs> you don't get those. But that was it. Like as I got old, I never really got hit. My mom was single. My mom would always tell me, "Don't ever let nobody touch your face. A real man doesn't let nobody touch their face. Don't let nobody fucking touch your face." So. Being Cuban, I was also Catholic. So my mom would scare me with the nuns. She'd go, if you fuck up, I'm gonna send you to school and those nuns will fuck you up. Well, after torturing my mom for a few years, she said, fuck it, I'm putting you in Catholic school. I'll let the nuns deal with you. And I think my mom knew the nuns were gonna fuck me up. She just didn't want to know, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's like, they're gonna fuck you up, but I don't want to know about it. So it was one of those schools, Sacred Heart School for boys. You went on Sunday and you came home on Thursdays. And the nuns were complete fucking douchebags. I mean, complete douchebags. You, and I'm not lying, I don't give a fuck if you don't lie. It's the truth, they were fucking, I think about it now, 30 years later, and it really was mild abuse. It was very mild, I could have dialed 911 on those bitches, but you know, nobody would have listened to my cries, you understand me? They say nuns don't whatever, so there was this one nun, Sister Anna, there was Sister Marie, there was Sister Hyacinth, and there was Sister, uh, some of them, Sister Patricia. Sister fucking Hyacinth was the most evil person that ever walked the, the fucking face of the earth. They didn't hit me at that school because I was a bad person. They used to hit me because I didn't like milk. Till this fucking day. What the fuck? Listen, till this day I fucking hate milk, okay? I'm not allergic to it. I just don't fucking like it. That's it. A milkshake, completely fucking different. I'll drink that. <laughs> but milk plain out of a bar, I don't like that shit. It smells like dick. I don't fucking like it. That's it. I never fucking liked it. I don't like broccoli then. I don't like it now. I don't give a fuck, I don't like it. But they would abuse me. If I didn't drink the milk, they'd put it on my head and then bitch slap me like three fucking times. And then when I went down, she hit me with the tray of few food. What the These fuck? people were fucking savages. And this one fucking nun, Sister Heisen, she's New Jersey, she looked just like Governor Christie, all fucked up. She was like five foot two, three ten. The bitch didn't fuck around. And if you look at a nun, they have a fucking ring of Jesus. They're married to Jesus. And before she'd hit you, she'd turn it around. And that's how they fucking cut you and shit like that. No, these nuns don't fuck around, guys. This is real old school fucking Catholicism. And no, no, I wasn't molested. I was an ugly kid that didn't fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> fuck you. I was an awful boy, but I never hung out. Fuck you. 
I don't want to play cards. I don't want no hard ice cream, cocksucker. <laughs> I'm a Carvel motherfucker anyway. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Carvel motherfucker. Fuck that hard ice cream, bitch. <laughs> Fuck you, think That's you did. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I'm in the fucking fifth grade. I've been there for like three years. Not in the fucking fifth grade. I've been at the school for fucking three years. Make I that clear. I started in the third grade and I stayed there till the fifth. But uh, there was a reason why. And I didn't know. I didn't know until I was like 30. I wanted, I wanted to make my confirmation. I'm like, why am I making my confirmation at 30? And I remembered this story. This is why. Because in the fifth grade, I couldn't take it no more. Now, now my dad died when I was three. So my, parent, my mom at the time put me in kung fu, like karate with the brothers, these black motherfuckers on 90th Street. And they would teach you like ghetto karate, like fucking judo and shit. I was out of my mind. Between that and Bruce Lee, I was ready to kill a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And Bruce Lee had died and I was all fucked up in the head. My dad had died. And between the pain and the fucking low self-esteem and the anger, I was boiling inside. And one day I'm in the fucking Catholic school. And there are these two little twins, they're like half momos. Raphael and Nino, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're fucking crying. I'm like, what are you crying for? They go, Sister Hyacinth, my mommy's having a baby, and Sister Hyacinth won't let us call the hospital. I'm like, uh, you know, not for nothing. Jesus don't pay for these fucking lights. <laughs> your mom and dad do. Get up, just go call your fucking mom. It's an emergency. And the nun, Sister Hyacinth, heard this, and she goes, really, all three years, go outside and wait. Now, when the nun told you to wait outside the class, that means you were getting a fucking beating. Like you're getting the shit knocked out of you, right? So the bell rings. The bell rings, I, you know, she comes out and she goes, so what did you three guys, what were you talking about? And there were the two twins. She took the one twin first, smacked the fuck out of him like 15 times. He went down. <laughs> she went to grab me and I'm like, I looked at the twin, I'm like, that's your brother. Get in there, motherfucker. Right? <laughs> Why am I fighting for you? Get in there, you fuck. She grabbed him, fucked his world up. And then she grabbed me and started bitch slapping me. But I kept thinking about my mom. I, I got sick and tired of this motherfucker hit me every time I went and drink my milk. And I was about to snap. So I put my hands up. And she's biting her tongue. i never forget this going, put your hands down. Put your hands down. I'm like, fuck you, you gotta work for it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't putting shit down. She's hitting me in the fucking temple. This bitch is fucking me up. So finally she goes, you're not gonna put your hands down and get in the utility closet. That's basically where they fucking killed you, right there. They just fucking killed you. Then they called your mother and said he died of a pneumonia. And that was it. <laughs> creepy motherfuckers, those Catholics. I'm telling you right now. I look behind the curtain. They're creepy motherfuckers. So she says, get in the utility closet. That's where they had like the books and the fucking uh, protractors and all that shit. So we get in there and she fucking doesn't even slam the door, guys. She just fucking japs me right in the fucking mouth like a tapaboca and I feel the blood, but I put my hands up, and she's like, don't you ever tell me, and she's just smacking me, guys, she's just going at it, bam, what the bam, fuck? and she had elbows, she had kicks, this is way before UFC Unleashed, this <laughs> is what was going on, she's kicking my legs to lower my hands, and she's smacking me, I'll tell you what, guys, I, I you know, I was fucking pissed, I, I, I couldn't believe this lady was doing this to me, and at one point, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fucking take this bitch out, I'm just gonna take this motherfucker out, I don't give a that fuck, right. But if I go for her, I gotta fucking go for it. Cause she's 320, you follow me? I'm like 100 with a crucifix in my pocket. If, if I go for it, I gotta go for this motherfucker. So finally she's like, put your hands down. I wouldn't put them down, but I started tasting the blood in my mouth and I started fucking losing it. And something just made me go, I'm gonna go for this motherfucker. But I'm gonna grab it by the ears and I grabbed it by the veil cause that's where all the magic powers are. Right? <laughs> I her by the fucking veil, and I'm like, don't you ever fucking hit me again, you cocksucker, I hate you, and I'm just crying. This is seven years of anger and pain, I miss my father, what's going on in my house? I just grabbed and I kept banging her fucking head, I don't give a fuck, you fuck, I'm, and I know, I know, a lot of you motherfuckers are like, Joey, you can't hit a woman, she's a fucking nun, big fucking difference, big fucking difference. She don't suck no cock. They don't take it in the ass. These motherfuckers are angry, all right? They don't eat no pussy. They just walk around with a fucking black suit on. Something's gotta be done. It's fucked up. You gotta eat something. You know what I'm saying? You gotta eat something. You're walking around like somebody died. Yeah. Your fucking pussy. That's what died. 
So I got her by the fucking ears now, and I ain't let her go. <coughs> I know she's gonna fuck my world up. And I'm pounding, pounding, pounding. Now the black dudes, they taught me judo too. So I went to give her like a hip throw. <laughs> but she's 320, I couldn't do it. <laughs> so I just settled on a headlock, and I'm grabbing her by the fucking head, and I'm squeezing, and she's going, you're gonna go to hell. And I'm like, so the fuck are you, motherfucker? <laughs> and I'm squeezing her fucking head. Fuck you, fuck you. And it's like, it was a little ma mafia kid. Thank God for fucking Italian people. Thank God for fucking Italian people. They don't give a fuck about the rules or nothing. This guy's like, what's going on? I go, this bitch tried to kill me. And he's like, fuck this bitch. <laughs> he took the arm and he twisted this motherfucker. I got in a headlock. This little eight year old's twisting the fucking arm. <laughs> and she's like, ah! And we don't give a fuck. The other nuns are around. But let me tell you what happened. Now the door was open. There's a bunch of kids. And they're yelling, go, 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 go. Now I gotta kill her, you understand me? There ain't no turning fucking back. <laughs> oh. So we take her out of the utility closet. They're yelling, call the police. I'm like, call the police. I'm fucking bleeding. I don't give a fuck, call the cops. We're twisting, the other kids are coming over, they're kicking her and shit. It's like, Puerto Ricans too, they don't give a fuck either. Couple of Roberto Clemente motherfuckers kick me. Ha 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 ha. Is that So I don't know nothing. I don't fucking know nothing. I call the police, the kids are clapping. It's fucking crazy. We're taking over the whole fucking hallway. And I go, fuck it. Let's call my mother. So we dragged this nun in a half a arm bar and a headlock, and we took her shoes off. I don't know why I took her. She had those big fucking fat feet with no nail polish and shit. We took the feet out from under her and just dragged her. Her head was turning red. And one of the Puerto Ricans called the nun and put it to my ear, and I told my mom, Mima, la, no, la monja me dio. That means the nun hit me. Let me tell you something. Carney, New Jersey is about 22 minutes from Union City, New Jersey. My mother made it in eight minutes. <laughs> she shows up with eight Puerto Ricans and a Santeria priest with a live chicken, you understand? <laughs> That's when shit goes down, motherfucker. So they finally got me off the fuck. She's, her hair's fucked up, the veil's off. My mom's telling her, you wanna hit my son? You gotta get fucked in the ass and have your own kids. <laughs> I'm loving it. My mom got my back and shit. So now we're sitting down, people holding on to their heads. Got the priest in the room, the principal, and they tell my mom, he's out. Him and his other fucking cohorts, like eight of us, they're fucking out of here. And my mom's listening to this, she's got half a bag on, she's a little drunk and shit. <laughs> and uh, she's like, he ain't going fucking nowhere. And, and they're like, no, he's got to go, he's, he's out of here. Then my, listen, when I was growing up, there was this Jew bookie in the neighborhood, tremendous. Let me tell you something, thank God for Jewish people. <laughs> All right, this motherfucker was a bookie, but in the early 70s, if you beat him for like two or 3,000, he would show up at your house with $500 bills. And he'd say to you, you want me to pay you? I'll pay you, but I gotta give you 500s. I'll let it roll till next week. Then the next week, he got you. You follow me? So he, you had his, he always had your fucking money. He would just lie to you that he had $500 bills. Who the fuck is a $500 bill? People would believe it. That's an old Jew trick right there. Let me tell you what my... <laughs> <laughs> you gotta learn. You gotta fucking learn, cocksuckers. <laughs> he goes to throw my mom out. My mom goes, listen, he ain't going nowhere or I want my deposit back in fives. That's an old Jew trick too. It blew their mind. Fives? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have no fucking fives till Sunday. Then my fucking son stays, motherfuckers, okay? And they let me graduate. They let me finish out the year. But you know what? A nun never fucking hit me again. That's my story. Thank you very much. Brilliant. So, uh, that was Joey Diaz, Sister Hyacinth. And, oh my God, what a fucking brilliant story. I absolutely loved it. The whole bit. Oh my God, I used to get beat up by, by my teachers so much. So fucking much. You have no idea. And it was all allowed back home, back in Pakistan. It was all allowed. If you didn't do your homework, you failed the test, you get in a stick. And they used to have do a number on me, man. Big fucking time. But that wasn't like abuse. It was just part of it, innit? Everybody got it. But it was absolute. This whole thing was brilliant, man. 
it was so great the way he told the story and uh, that now the other story makes sense because he talks about Sister Heisen in the previous one it did but this is this is the first one first time he's done this but still man this is great man I absolutely loved it the jokes were bang on and his laugh man is so funny his laugh is so funny it's so great man I really did enjoy that I hope you did too if you did like subscribe share and leave a comment I'll see you guys next time